Olá, Brasil! Lady Whistledown vai agora contar pra vocês que a gente tem uma nova história, Bridgerton! Estou falando de Rainha Charlotte, essa série nova que conta a história da jovem Charlotte. Da jovem Charlotte! Pois é, a série se aprofunda na história de Charlotte, uma jovem escolhida para ser a nova rainha da Inglaterra. Apenas, né? Charlotte, além de ser negra, promove a grande união entre brancos e negros naquela época. Então dá só uma olhada no meu papo com o elenco de Rainha Charlotte, uma história Bridgerton. There is reason they wanted me. Why me? Charlotte, but there are worse fates than marrying the King of England. It is time we were united as a society. You will make lots of babies. As many babies as possible for my son. My life as queen was difficult. I'm Grimsley. I'm always with you, Highness. Grimsley, tell me about the king. Is he ugly, perhaps deformed? He is the king. Yes. And? Hey, Bruno. Hey, Zelda. Hey, hey. How are you? Very good, thank you. Really good. Good to talk to you. I have to tell you that I'm a huge fan of Queen Charlotte. I love how you play this role. And it's an honor to talk to you. Thank you. And I want to know... Why do you think Shonda decided to give Queen Charlotte uh, her own show? Oh, gosh, that's the million-dollar question, isn't it? I mean, you know, for me personally, as the actress, um, you get a role and you work on it, you nurture it, you become friends with that character, uh, you, you, you get to love that character, you, you, you film it, you film the storylines, it then gets put out there and you hope that people like it. Um, but for Shonda and Netflix to come back and say, you know, we'd love to do a, a deep dive into this character, it makes it all worth it. <laughs> do you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. It makes those 4 a.m. starts when the alarm goes off and you're picked up for, you know, a day's filming. It makes all of that worth it. So, yeah, I'm really thrilled, really proud. Um, and uh, I think India is incredible in the role as well. So that's like the added bonus for me is to have her uh, create this character from the beginning. And what was your first reaction when you saw India? Do you think you look alike? Uh, yeah, well, I think so. I don't know. This is all, that's a weird question. Do you know what I mean? Um, I think uh, they the, no stone was unturned in creating... Um, the kind of look alike. So I have these two moles on my face and India doesn't in real life. So they cast the moles so that she, they put the moles on her every, every day. So I think, you know, uh, the details were, were really, uh, mm -hmm. yeah, interesting. Totally. And is there a difference in playing... Queen Charlotte in Bridgerton and to play Queen Charlotte in the Queen Charlotte show? Is there a difference? Mm. I know there isn't, but yes. You know, Bridgerton is glitz and glamour. It's balls, it's tea parties, it's all of that kind of stuff. And you only see the glimpses of her private life. Um, you know, Queen Charlotte, a Bridgerton story is her private life. So, you know, going back to creating a character, that private life is there in Bridgerton, but it's it's a layer that I take with me, you know. Um, now in Queen Charlotte, we see that. I get to play that. So although it's, it's new um, to the fans and to me, kind of, but it's always been there. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. Of course. Yeah, 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 yeah. So what are your thoughts on how the racial question, uh, around the racial issue is brought to this show? Um, I think it's, it's really important that we as artists have a platform that we can discuss these difficult questions. Um, I think, you know, Bridgerton and now Queen Charlotte really is being brave in terms of Uh, discussing race, discussing mental health issues, gender, 
uh, 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 female empowerment, sexuality. Um, and I think, you know, within this period drama, it's really beautiful to be able to d discuss these things, you know, maybe not so in intensely, that it's done through storytelling, that it's done through a medium that isn't kind of in your face, that it's done with love and respect. Um, and if that can push the door open a little bit more or create uh, a, a bigger space for us all to have these discussions, um, that's the important thing, that we have these discussions wherever that is uh, initiated, mm -hmm. you know, it could be political. It could be, for me, it's through the work that I do and the shows that I'm in. Um, if we can push those conversations forward to create a better space for us all to be in, then yeah, it's a hundred percent important. Thank you, Golda, so much for your time. You're looking fabulous today. Thank and... you. <laughs> thank you. Thank you, babe. Thank you. You refuse to help a lady in distress? I refuse when she's trying to go over a wall so that she does not have to marry me. Hello, Charlotte. Your Majesty. To you, I'm George. Be careful. You are the first of your kind. You must secure your position. Where is the king? The king cannot see you now. Charlotte, I require privacy. She is his wife. She should know. There is nothing to know. Hey Hi. guys, how are you doing? Good, thank you. How All are good. you? How are you? I'm good. So I want to know, India, young Charlotte is very different from her older version. So what do you think are the main difference between these two characters? It's almost that you have this new version of the queen, right? Exactly. Um, there's time um, in between Charlotte in Queen Charlotte and Regency era Charlotte that then, you know, as time progresses, you gather confidence, you gather knowledge, um, understanding of how her society works mm -hmm. and runs. Um, and just finding herself as a young woman, like r regardless and, and irregardless of every other added pressure on top of her. Mm -hmm. She's just understanding the ways of the world a bit more and um, where she fits in there and um yeah she definitely feels like a, a different entity than and the charlotte we see in bridgerton mm. and corey king george is a character with a lot of layers it's mm. almost like you play two different characters between regular king george and king george in the crisis so how was it to you to play this character uh it was a it was a joy and a, and a privilege really you know like any, any actor would love to sink their teeth into something like this i think um it was it was a challenge. I tell you what, you bring up like the two sides of him, and uh, about halfway through the series, we sort of really delve into what it is that George is going through, and then from that point onwards, we see a much more balanced version of him. But in the beginning, the challenge was to portray a version of him where you could tell that something was maybe not so right, and that he was hiding something, uh, but that that was mm -hmm. uh, that was charming enough and had a, enough of a wall in front of him that it was believable that people around him could uh, maybe be suggestible to the fact that he was okay, uh, but that if people were to watch the series back, they would see enough in that performance that they would go, okay, well, that's not doing a disservice to the person that we know that he is now. Um, mm -hmm. So it was, yeah, it was a bit of a juggling act at times, um, uh, but it was, again, a, uh, a, a, an honor. You did a great job. Ah, oh, thank you. India, what was your first reaction when you got the call that you got a part on a Shondaland Netflix show? It was it was such excitement, but also a bit of fear as well, because mm. I knew how um, how important this role was going to be for myself, but also just as representation for young black girls. Yeah, it was it was a lot. It was a, it was a lot of emotions and lots of different feelings, um, but. I think excitement was probably the one that overtook it all. And then, um, yeah, we, we got into filming, so there wasn't really much time to think. Mm. By the end, it was just yeah. go, go, go. And Corey, you both have a lot of steamy scenes. You especially have a lot of naked scenes. How was it to shoot this thing, the scenes? Do you know what? It was, it was a privilege to... I, I've always thought that the world needed my ass. 
and um, <laughs> it's it's a privilege to be I able agree. to give. <laughs> It's a privilege to be able to finally share that with 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 so many people. Hopefully, you know, world peace ensues. Um, right. No, it was strange. It was very strange. I'll be honest with you. It was especially the first time. The first time that I got naked was the first time that we had a intimacy scene, and that was very overwhelming. Although very safe and protected by the team, uh, there's no amount of uh, safeguarding and protection that will make getting your kit off in front of uh, a set of people, even, no matter yeah. how many people are there, uh, it'll always be quite strange. Uh, but what was great about those steamy scenes is that there is a, there is a narrative. There's something that comes out of the characters okay. always. And they, you know, I think I said this in an interview about two weeks ago, and it was the first time that I realized it. But if you had all of the intimacy scenes throughout the show and just those, there would still be a story told, which I think proves that there is. There's, they're, they're not gratuitous. There's always a point behind them. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. But uh, yeah, you're right. There is, there is, there's, a, there's an awful lot of George's uh, body. Uh, yes, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, but uh, you know, there you go. It's out there now. Yeah, guys, thank you so much. Your lives are about to change with worldwide fame. So I hope you enjoy it. And thank, thank you. Thank you. So much. Your marriage cannot go wrong. What's happening? I do not want to fight. I want to fight with you. Fight with me. Fight for me. Your Majesty, your focus should be your country. You are our queen. Gente, que conversa boa foi essa? Golda, maravilhosa, nossa rainha. Eu acho ela a cara da Dona Júlia, quando ela está de rainha. Não é brinquedo, não. É ou não é? Coloca aí, edição. Dona Júlia e Rainha Charlotte. Maravilhosas as duas. Adorei o Corey e a Índia. Corey falando da bundinha foi, ó, a cereja do bolo. Então é isso. Rainha Charlotte, uma história Bridgerton, chega agora no dia 4 de maio na sua Netflix. Não esquece de assinar o canal, ativar o sininho, comentar e compartilhar. Tá vendo no Instagram? Comenta e compartilha. Beijos do Gloss Whistledown. Dear readers. You are breathtaking. You break rules, court scandal, and the most royal person I've ever known. It is you and me, together. Love can bloom from the thorniest of gardens. <laughs> your flower metaphors make me nauseated with their sweetness, but I applaud your point. 